Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for Spectrum. My name is Jill Shine, and I'm one of the members of the software development team here at Avenir Health. Today, we're going to discuss one of the most widely used tools in Spectrum called Extract. Once you start running Spectrum, you will see that there are two different ways to start Extract. One is right on the start screen. Here is Extract. We click the button and we can open Extract. The second way is if you are already running Spectrum, you can go to Tools, More Tools, and see Extract right here. Please note that when you want to run Extract, you cannot have any projections open. If you do have a projection open, you'll see that Extract is not available. When you first open Extract, you will see that there are several options over here on the left. The first option has to do with the file format. You can save the values for Extract as an XLSX or as a CSV file. If you choose XLSX, which is the default, you have the option to have one indicator per worksheet or you can have the option one projection per worksheet. In the next section, you will see some general options that apply to all projections within Extract. The first one has to do with whether or not you would like to have the projection recalculated. By default, it is checked. If it remains unchecked, then that means that the projection will not be recalculated and any data that you may have saved to that projection without recalculating it will not be used by Extract. The second option determines whether or not you would like to save your calculated projection. If it is unchecked, it will not be saved, therefore your projection will remain intact. If it is checked, then the projection will be saved. The third option under General has to do with currency. If it's not checked, that means that any currency values that are extracted will be in US dollars. If you would like it to be in the local currency, then check the box. The next three sections are much more specific. The first section has to do with list, the live saved tool. The first checkbox here allows us to force the sensitivity bounds for list to be extracted. The second one allows us to extract the uncertainty analysis data. And the third one, if checked, will run uncertainty analysis for each of the projections. The third section here has to do with the module AIM. The first checkbox allows us to update the AIM default data for any projection that is loaded. The second one allows us to calculate the AIDS impact indicators. The reason why you might not want to check this is because in order to run the AIDS impact indicators, Spectrum has to calculate the projection six times. So therefore it would slow down your results. And finally, under AIM, we have the ability to run AIM uncertainty analysis. The last category here, UNAIDS custom configurations, are special configurations that UNAIDS has asked us to put in for them. Basically, there are three different ways that the data files can be extracted and they're specifically formatted for UNAID's purpose. Over here on the right is where we add our projections. So let's choose a projection to add. To add projections to Extract, click the Add button. Navigate to where your projections reside. Select them. For this test, we'll select three of the projections click open and they will start to load into extract. Once the projections are loaded, you will see a list of all the modules that are contained within those projections. These will have all of the indicators that you are able to extract. If I don't want one of these projections here, I made a mistake, I can simply remove it. For this test, we're going to look at Demproj. These are all of the results and the inputs that I can extract. I'm going to choose to extract total population. 
Any indicators that are over here are the ones that we can extract. For total population, we can decide how we want it extracted. Click the Configure Highlighted Indicator button, and you can decide if you want to see both male, female, or do you want them to be disaggregated. For this test, we're going to leave it as both. Once I'm satisfied with all of the indicators that I have selected, I can click Process. It's going to ask me to pick a location of where I would like my extracted file to, to reside. I'm going to call this file Test Extract. Remember, it's going to have the XLSX extension. Click Save, and now it's going to process. Since this projection contains list, I'm going to ask it to update the information for them. Now it's going to process each projection. Down here you can see the progress that's being made. We are currently processing the second projection. Once it is done processing both projections, we'll be able to navigate over to where we saved our file and take a look at it. But before we do that, let's look and see if there were any messages found. This is where you're going to find out if there were any errors with the projections. So we click this button and we find that each of our projections was extracted successfully. Now let's navigate over to where our extract file is and take a look at it. Unless you selected a different location, the file is going to be found in the same place where your projections are. In my case, this is the file that we saved. We click it open. As you can see, the extract file has a lot of information in it. The first column, we have the name of the projection. The second column shows what country was being used. Then we have the ISO code. We have whether or not it was a subnational projection or not. What module the data came from. The indicator that I selected, in this case total population. And how I had it configured. If you remember, I selected both male and female. And then finally, we have the years of the projections and the data. The reason there is no data in this first year for the first projection is because this projection happened to start in 2016 rather than 2015. So now we can close this, this file. And go back to extract. If I decide I would like to extract another indicator, I can simply choose that indicator and run extract again. If I decide I don't really want total population anymore, I can simply remove it from the list. At this point, Extract is ready to process again. This concludes the tutorial for Extract. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video or require help in any other area, please do not hesitate to contact us at modelsupport at avenirhealth.org.